My opponent just came up here and said that they do have a plan, and that plan was to get rid of the SAT. Well, I understood that, but what measures are they going to take to put that plan in action? She just went on again saying about how she just mentioned, oh, that's our plan, and went back to saying how it was done. Never once telling me or the audience, you yourselves, that what the measures were. So she said that up to review. She said that um, standardized testing holds a huge impact. My opponents both said that. And many schools are actually viewing test scores at a lower degree. A survey of 461 senior level admission deans and enrollment managers at a four year, col at four -year colleges conducted by the Chronicle of Higher Education in early 2008, <coughs> that 88% of respondents said their institutions required for the submission of standardized test scores. But fully one half of these um, administrators indicated these tests had little or no influence on admission outcomes. Um, even Columbia and Yale, Columbia stated also, even in their, to apply to turn in their test scores that However, it should be noted that the application review process for Columbia College um, cannot be, individual students are seen as dynamic, multifaceted individuals who cannot be defined by any single factor to determine their suit, um, suitability for admission. So these colleges aren't just looking at SATs, they're looking at other factors such as, they said, extracurriculars and so forth. And um, so they also stated that Back to what my opponent before me said, she used a website, I believe, I believe it was called like Fail Test. And like I said before, how do we know it's accredited? Um, these could be a group of college students who didn't get into Yale or Harvard, and they literally failed the test. So they made a website about it. So how do we know? Um, so they also claim that standardized testing really isn't a good measure of success. Um, in a research study that standard, for standardized admission tests, college performance, and campus diversity, in a recent evaluation based on 150,000 students from 110 four-year colleges and universities, the new SAT introduced in, in the spring of 2005 with the required writing section does almost as well as high school GPA at predicting first-year college GPA. So even though they were to look at um, GPA, the students also getting in because of their SAT scores are doing as well as those. So. Either way, they're having a good college GPA first and good year success. So, they say the SAT is unfair for students um, who are not wealthy and so forth. Um, but the SAT goes through a lot of measures and regulations to make sure that these test questions are not biased. So. Standardized tests are from the Huffington Post. Standardized tests are inclusive and non-discriminatory because they ensure content testing conditions are equivalent for all students. And so you can't separate students and try to do so to create two unequal systems. So one with accountability and one without. And that's basically be a civil rights issue. We want them to all have an equal opportunity and not say because they're minority. Thank you.